Training with Vince is an interesting experience. There's a lot of grunting. Yeah, most, mostly grunting. Uh, he sweats a lot for a man. It's like he's wearing four sweaters. Uh, I don't know where all the sweat comes from. It's, uh, it's interesting, actually. He, you know, you would think he was doing cardio. Weight moves and uh, lots of grunting. I'm not sure Vince is made for the average gym. So after a lot of begging and pleading on Vince's part, I decided to be in one of his videos. You know, I was a little bit in the other video, not that much, kind of background, you know, doing the whole cameraman thing. But uh, yeah, you know, he, he begged me. You know, I'm just gonna come up with it. Today, I uh, got, got some really good news today. I uh, got uh, uh, a sponsorship with 511 Tactical. Um, if you guys get a chance, uh, go onto their website, see what kind of apparel they have. Uh, this is uh, basically geared towards law enforcement, fire, military, and police uh, um, apparel and, uh, and gear. So backpacks, uh, knives, uh, duty gear, and even uh, the, some, uh, some CrossFit fitness gear too as well. They have um, pretty, uh, pretty exciting stuff. Anyway, just uh, thanks again for uh, subscribing. Um, there's a link on for 511 and to uh, my fe Facebook page, it's Martin, Team Martin Powerlifting. Please, uh, if you get a chance, uh, log on to that and uh, like the page and uh, more subscribers, the better it is. Yeah, thanks. So today I'm gonna go through a powerlifting workout with uh, Vince and do, uh, you know, I'll mimic as much as I can of what he does. I mean, although I'll keep my ranges of motion into where I'm comfortable as far as with my shoulders and you know this sort of thing because powerlifting is one of those sports where it's necessary to you know touch your chest and pause and all this sort of thing so Vince does train slightly different than I do or, or a lot different in some ways uh, to make sure that he's competition ready uh, but yeah today I get Vince to take me through a workout Vince Martin we have quite a bit of fun and it's nice to change things up anyway so here I am warming up with uh, 225 I already warmed up with one plate uh, Vince has done the same and uh, yeah, we're just warming up here and as you notice I'm not touching my chest because that's not how I bench press. I uh, keep the tension on the chest. If I go down lower it transfers to my front delts and my whole goal with the bench press is to work my chest. Which is a little bit different than Vince. Vince's uh, goal is to power lift and to lift exactly the way they do in competition and to lift as much weight as possible. So I'm kind of doing a hybrid. I'm doing a cross between bodybuilding and power lifting here. Uh, but yeah, so we'll, just to keep from boring you I guess we should uh, speed this up a little bit, shall we? So here we are moving up to 315, so I'll slow it down here. And uh, Vince is just gonna go for a, f a couple reps here. Uh, just because he's, he's trying to conserve his energy just to slowly work his way up to higher weight. His whole goal is to handle high weight, uh, not uh, hit failure like mine. My, my job is to hit failure, uh, so that way I fatigue the muscle, so I create a, uh, some hypertrophy in the muscle. But his goal is to increase uh, is strength so that that's that's part of powerlifting that's what it's all about so uh, so when I go down I'm I'm basically saying okay I just want to fatigue the muscle that's my goal I'm lifting you know heavier weight than I usually lift I don't usually go to 315 that often but uh, of course working out with Vince he pretty much demands that it doesn't uh, <laughs> no I'm just kidding he he's pretty easy going with that stuff but yeah the weight's uh, not not too hard it's going up pretty easy anyway and uh, I get a solid six reps so this is basically you know my hybrid training between bodybuilding and powerlifting. Ultimately, I don't really like straining a rep out like that too much, but <laughs> it's good. So anyway, uh, here we are at 335, and uh, this will be our max weight that we'll do for today. And again, I haven't hit 335 in quite a long time. I haven't actually lifted that heavy, I can really say, honestly, probably for about a year or two. Uh, so yeah, here's, here's Vince, just nice and easy, up and down, real slow. He gets two pretty solid ones there, so. So it's great training with a partner, especially one like Vince. Uh, so here, I'll let you listen to his intensity.
Well, if that doesn't motivate you, I don't know what will. So anyway, uh, Vince's idea, here we are with 315, we're going to do a strip set. So we'll start with 315, move to 225, then move to one plate. I'll speed this up for you just to move it along. And what's a bench press workout without a little bit of a celebration? Aha! Sorry Vince, I just couldn't resist. <laughs> so for purposes of keeping this video short, I'll just show you the exercises that we ended off with. Here's an exercise we did, it's the rack bench press, uh, laying on the floor. So it does change the way your shoulder girdle works with your shoulder blades and, and everything. When you're laying down on a bench, uh, the way you extend your chest is, is much different than when you just touch the tricep to the floor and then come up. So this helps in uh, strengthening the top portion of your bench press. And it does keep the tension on the chest quite well, so it's a good bodybuilding exercise too, for sure. So apparently Vince is not the only one with the sweating problem here. Uh, but uh, I prefer not to call that sweat, that's a racing stripe. After completing three or four sets of uh, bench press on the floor. Uh, we moved over to the dumbbell press and after a few warm-ups uh, we did three sets of dumbbell presses moving up to uh, the 100 pounders as you can see Vince doing here. Well that concludes our chest workout. Uh, we moved on to triceps but I'll include that in another video. We'll do a tricep video. Uh, but yeah, thanks for listening, and uh, make sure you subscribe, and uh, I'll see you soon. I think I offended Vince with uh, sweat comments. I haven't seen him at the gym for a few days, and uh, he hasn't answered any of my text messages. And well, finally he did get back to me, uh, but he told me to meet him here for a workout. So, I think he's working out underneath the water. I think he's actually found a solution. Vince? Vince? Where the hell is? Vince? Vince?